Okay, I'm going to show you a toy that is a good demonstration of how a capacitor can be used for, for the powers of good. So if you are familiar with little kids and uh, have had them play with toys that involve batteries and switches, you know that they'll turn on a toy, they'll play with it, but then they'll set it down and walk away, leaving it on. So this is a very cleverly designed flashlight to get around that problem. So you can turn it on, but there's no light, but there's another switch here under the handle. So when you're holding it, the flashlight is on. And so, yep, 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 play around, play around, play around, and then set it down. That handle switch goes off and take a look at what happens to the light. It does take a little bit of time, so you set it down and you walk away and what's the light doing? It is dimming and dimming and dimming and it eventually will go out. There's no more current flowing and your batteries aren't being used up. So this is a, a pretty clever little, little toy to, to deal with that issue of kids leaving things on. So here's a question for you. Given what you know about capacitors, can you come up with a circuit that behaves like this. You need a main switch, a handle switch, a bulb, batteries, and a capacitor. How could you create a circuit that behaves like this where you need both switches on in order for the flashlight to light, but then when the handle switch is off, it dims out, but if the main switch goes off, it does turn everything off. So give that a try, see if you can figure it out. It's a fun one.